Hello and a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us in another package of Off the Press, a program where we bring you up to speed on all the latest headlines making the rounds in our dailies. My name is Felicity Ezewike. I'm not doing this alone. I have to help with making sense of these headlines. Bolaho Olojide, pleasure to have you join yeah, good us. Good morning, nice good to be here. All right, we'll start with the Guardian newspaper and uh, presidency cook clash over Buhari's undeclared assets. That's on the front page of the Guardian newspaper this morning. A couple of writers, if you've been following the news though, you would have heard the details of this story. If you don't know yet, well, the Guardian has details and we have uh, Gwalaho here to help make sense of it. Three writers to that story. Bishop accuses president of clannishness, divisiveness, or is it divisiveness now? Says no sane citizen ready to die for ruderless Nigeria. I escaped assassination attempts as EFCC chair, says Waziri. Before I go to any other headline, can you please speak on this? Well undeclared assets i'm still deeply concerned about why there's a problem with asset declaration this is what i have this is what i have why should there be a problem maybe truly legally he might be able to say there's no law that compels me to declare the law says i should fill certain forms and submit it to a particular agency of government maybe that's what the law says it's possible that that is what the law said but apart from the legality of this i own this house i own this car why should it be a problem i'm, I'm yeah, still well thinking maybe about if it. it is too much and it's more than your um income should cover you might have a re um, i mean resistance to declaring all you have uh, well in, in that case then because those are things that were important on on character and things that we said we represent. What, what's your take uh, on him uh, um, accusing, says no citizen, same citizen is ready to die for ruderless Nigeria. Is Nigeria really ruderless? There's a ruder. Whether it is headed in the right direction or not is a different story. But I think that comment did not sit very well with me. Um, I read the entire thing and it said so many correct things. This is the way things have been, nepotism, narcissism, all sort of things. In the land, and they are they are right on point, but saying that uh, no sane Nigeria will die, it, it impugns what those guys are doing on the theaters of war. I lost a cousin in that theater, so I'm imagining the mother grabbing this copy of newspaper this morning, and the memories of that boy being pulled out of a drawer in the mortuary will come flooding to her head. To say that it was an insane thing to have done that, I, I don't know. I, it, it didn't sit well with me. All right, let's see other headlines from The Guardian this morning. Senate threatens to sack evasive NDA's heads, rejects defense by proxy. Uh, the details of that story is on page three of the paper. Let me just give you a quick Did list. you say Senate? Yes, Senate. Can Senate sa sack the heads of... Uh... MDAs. I should be asking you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just take a quick look at what the um, paper looks like. This is exactly what it looks like. Um, the front page, you can see the cooker story um, all screaming there. Okay, I have to take it down now so I can read more of them for you. Uh, we also have PDP protest petitions UN, EU, France over alleged dictatorship in Nigeria. We also have Senate again. This time they are decrying 48 deaths on Kaduna Kanu Highway summons contractor and then brokers of to, brokers rather to own 78 percent of proposed nigerian exchange group plc uh there's something again we just had a conversation um uh, just moments ago on the uh issues we have with suicide in this country and there is a story of a 12 year old uh choosing that part in emo state quite unfortunate and then we have another story I think this time it's also from Edo State. It says, Obasaki Izeyamu orders trade blame over fresh bomb attack. If you've been watching the news, you would have seen that there was a chieftain's home set ablaze via a bomb and uh, situations, um, of course, you expect some reaction and this is one of them. How my family narrowly escaped death, that's by the APC scribe, accused government of masterminding incident. It was the handiwork of EPM government uh, in insist that some of the stories are on the front page of the Guardian newspaper. And behind it, we have sports, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, but how you were 
particularly interested uh, in the story of the Senate threatening to sack invasive MDAs. So yeah, I'm, 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 asking, not, I'm not sure if the Senate has have, the authority. If they have such power, they, they, they don't have the power. So why would they that. threaten when um, they don't have such powers to implement? They, they probably can, can make it happen in their own way. Um, they can call the attention of the people that appointed them to the fact that they are not living up to their responsibility. But I'm not so sure that they have the power to sack the head of an MDA. I don't think so. Now, um, the MDA's heads that are not appearing before them when they are being called, it's also a worrisome trend. You have been, these people have a responsibility for oversight, and you have been called to come and appear before them. Why will you have a problem with that? So I, th I, th I think they should get across to, the, to, the, to their boss and, and, and get them to do something about it. It's, it's unacceptable. They have the power to do that. Okay, before we move on to the nation newspaper, I want you to talk quickly on this blame trading. It's, the it's, it's, bomb it's a very serious affair. Now that we are having bombs, this is not uh, uh, the Northeast. This, this, this is, I mean, uh, so sorry to put it that way. This is not the Boko Haram war that we're talking about. This is politics. I want to be governor, you want to be governor. Why should it become things that involve bombs? We're talking of bombs there. Yeah. It's quite worrisome that politics are degenerated to the level where we are chasing one another all around the whole place with bombs. Bombs. It's, it's unacceptable. I'm hoping that the federal government will intervene in this particular incident. So we don't start playing with bombs. It's, it will suddenly Are become like... Are you optimistic like, of a reaction from the federal government? Because, I mean, if you look at it, it is the leadership of the person who is in charge of the APC in the country, of Shomole and the governor, of uh, Delta um, um, Edo State that have this friction between them that seems to be affecting... It's been going on know. and on and festering. There have been all sorts of clashes, but we've not had something of this, of this dimension. Nation. Okay, let's <clears throat> hope to see uh, some reactions Bombs. soon. It's, it's quite worrisome, honestly. I agree with you. The nation is next for review this morning. We have uh, the picture of beautiful ladies. They always <laughs> add sunshine to anything. Um, Dame Patience Jonathan uh, is there. That's a former first lady and the current first lady is changing something that looks like a book. Uh, you might want to go see details in there. Uh, let's go to the other headlines now, aside from the ladies. So what's cooking between Aisha and Patience? Well, you get to read it to find out. Um, at the top of the paper, though, we have rumbling in Ohanese leadership. Secretary sacked. Dan Gote retains Africa's wealthiest status. Adenuga BUA on the list. Settlement talks in oil council dispute halted. Government blames Algon. Uh, details of that story is on page 45, if you've been following that one. Inside the papers, you have this um, uh, highlighted in a yellow, in a red background, just above the uh, picture of the two smiling ladies. We have Quara Saraki meet deadlock, meeting deadlocked. Quara Saraki meeting deadlocked. Anxiety over Ondo travelers. Okay, the big one that we are yet to see, let's see if they can flip now so you can have it. Amotekun, how outfit will operate in Southwest State? Bill spells out operational guidelines or your equity option assemblies get draft legislation. Nigeria Rudolph and the Buhari have captured that story before. And of course, behind the paper, we have uh, something to do with not an elders, paper tigers and the presidency. <laughs> I would love to read that one. I urge you to read it as well, but we don't have time to take a look at that. We'll look at the front page and what's going on. Amotekun, let's start with that. Amotekun. Mm -hmm. Amotekun. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the right sound. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think we're beginning to see what we had expected uh, way back at the, at the birth of this uh, institution. How it will operate, very important. How it will be funded, very important. With that, because those are the things that help to deal with some fears. Some people, a lot of people have expressed certain fears all over the whole place. Those fears are genuine. If there are no, we can't see the law, we can't see the mode of operation, we don't know how it will be funded. But now that we are beginning to address all those issues, we'll be able to placate people who are angry or scared. Because fears and facts are two different things. But where the facts don't exist, fear dominates. All right, uh, what other headline would you want to take on? Settlement talks in New York Council dispute halted. It's quite unfortunate. What we have here is 
the issue of caretaker, uh, 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 you know, and, and the actual elected officials of those local government, and the law, the position of the law on all of those. Um, I hope Makinde can get out of this because somehow um, it, it's, it's a matter of the law, and we must be seen to have respect for the law. Irrespective of what the political exigencies at those uh, point in time might be. All right. Uh, before we move on to other papers, though, um, the, the deadline for the bill to be passed into law was given as February uh, 14, and that's tomorrow, next tomorrow. Yes. Is it possible? Why not? They've been working on it. Okay. And don't forget, these bills are not going to be significantly different from state to state. Okay, so you just copy-paste, copy-paste. Yes. All right, the Vanguard is next for review this morning. Uh, the big one here is Boko Haram. Outrage trails killing of baby, Unimad student, 28 others. Uh, that's um, anger as death toll climbs to 50. Arnold deserted 24 hours later. Attack could have been avoided, Zulum. Military must compensate families of Bonu Kanij, Bolori, and Buhari's insensitive Bishop Kuka during the burial of uh, one of the um, clergymen mm. that was uh, murdered. Okay, uh, there is another one on the front page. Farida Waziri book launch. You might want to see that one. Uh, Dangote returns slot. We've taken that story as well. Oshimala Basaki fighters explosion rocks it. Don't. Uh, that's another one for you uh, at the top of the paper, actually. There is a writer to that story. Uh, Gbola has already talked about it. Uh, Martin Elders Forum disagrees with Buhari on Ganduje Emir Sanusi's feud. And then at the bottom of the paper, uh, we have state of the nation. We can't afford another civil war. Kristen Elders won. And then we also have FG set for 3.3 billion euro bond borrowing. Corruption deep rooted in Nigeria before my coming. That's Buhari still complaining. <laughs> Over to you. Corruption deep in Nigeria before his coming. Mm -hmm. But when he came, he inherited the assets and the liabilities. Mm -hmm. uh, those are comments that should have died uh, way back by now. We should be looking at what lies ahead and how we can fix the nation. Not, it, it, was, it wasn't me uh, comment. It wasn't me it comment. Wasn't was me. It wasn't yeah, it, it, it doesn't work. Nobody expect that from um, uh, our leaders President. at this level, yes. Uh, outrage trails killing of baby. This is the very, a very disastrous, probably the biggest Boko Haram uh, um, attack incident and number of casualties as well. Uh, and it was dastardly. And I, I, I just hope that these people will not die in vain. We've had a lot of people who have died in these circumstances. And, and, and the way to do it is not to send condolences, it's not to make promises, it's to do something. I agree. agree completely. We need to do something with that situation. Let's move to the state newspaper now. There's something that actually caught my attention on the Vanguard newspaper. It has to do with the um, managing the use of a batcher loot. We keep see, they keep coming, they keep coming, but we don't actually see proper accountability. Or is it just me? If we ask, we are asking. Uh, they will provide if you ask. So you believe because that that money, of, the monies are being used well? I, I don't think they are. You see. Part of the terms for releasing some of those money, or why some of them are not released on, t on time, is because the nation releasing them want to know exactly how you intend to spend it. Use. In certain instances, they've been known to appoint people to go and actually oversee, like the Ukrainian one. They actually appointed an American to go and sit in Ukraine to ensure that they are applied as the same one that is coming. I can assure you that America has already requested for how exactly you want to spend used. it. All right. Uh, and we'll pay back if we don't spend it that way. We, we shall see about <laughs> that. All right. This day is next for review this morning. And uh, Bratai, his face is very huge on the front page. Um, it's saying, we have defeated insurgency, but facing the challenge of terrorism. That confuses me a bit. It says Boko Haram is everywhere, including Lagos. No, I, I need you to explain this. We have defeated <laughs> insurgency, but facing the challenge of terrorism. Insurgency, from this perspective, is people actually occupying territories, claiming part of our land. So what he's saying is that today, there, is no uh, there are no flags that you know, being hoisted in part of our land. 
But as far as these terrorist attacks are concerned, that they are here with us. Um, I, I don't know what the intention of this is, because if it is to make us, it is to, to comfort us, it is not actually comforting. Uh, telling us that there are Boko Haram all over the whole place and that terrorism has come to stay. Is it saying we should be expecting terrorist attack all over Nigeria or what? That's why I said this is not comforting. I believe this man has served. He should be allowed to rest. Yeah, so you're, you're among to. those who say the service chiefs, they should go. But they should, they should do, do we have go. replacements, really? In Nigeria, 200 million people, we have replacement will not be an issue. So why do you think, what is holding the president from taking that decision? It's difficult to say. Uh, um, we're, we're not privy to an intelligence report, but we are privy to the fact that that is his ways. If he, if you remember the, his first four years, ministers, whether you, are, you perform or not, you just hang on to the role. It's a life appointment as far as. That is my own observation of him. Once he trusts you, he trusts you, and that's it. But that is not the reality we are seeing on ground. If you look at the curve, truly, Puretai has done a bit. You look at the curve of those incidences, they have gone down, 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 down. All the curves that I've seen. And we don't have situations in which Boko Haram attacks in Yaya Park in Abuja or storm the police headquarters. In Abuja. We don't have all those situations any longer. So you could shake this man and say, you've done a good job. Now we need something new, some new thinking, some new guys in this position. And then beyond the individual is the security strategy in itself. The Nigeria security strategy. How do we, what is the plan, the, 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 the vision for, for security? And, and that is more important, actually, than the individuals occupying the post. Otherwise, the new guy will just be another brother. <laughs> uh, let's see. In a new policy, CBN restricts milk importation to six farms. Says policy aims at boosting local production. Airlines spend $3.5 billion yearly overseas on maintenance. Others, uh, those are some of the headlines here. What's on the back page? Let's see. We have uh, the horizon today. The focus is on another focus on inequality um, on the back page of this day newspaper. Um, I want you to talk about Did you see the story? Yeah, the milk importation is not, it's not that significant. The figure um, does not impact us that much. That's, that's the reality. So by the, it's just something by the side. But at the same time, the problems are more fundamental than banning of importation or restricting importation. Much more fundamental. How come our own cows in Nigeria produce maybe less than 20%? of what cow, the milk that we produce, less than 20% of what the standard cow produce in the US. How come? The space of research and technology as far as this thing is concerned is more important. It's the same thing that we did with rice that we're carrying on to milk. We probably will carry on it on to some other things. This does not solve the problem fundamentally. We must invest more in research and technology to make these things more worth it. All right, before we go, let me quickly take a look at some of the headlines. I'll just highlight them because we're out of time. Complete sports. Uh, we have midweek Euro preview. Moses guns for fourth club cup final. That's on the front page of the complete sports. We also have uh, Man City join rates for 60 million euro chukweze. Nigerian also Chelsea, Liverpool transfer radar. Uh, we, all, we have uh, Soljay Igalo in squad for Chelsea game. That's uh, Chelsea versus Man United. Juventus preparing eye-watering offer for Guardiola. Uh, Verdi leads seven-man EPL for scorer race. And then we have ahead of some other persons uh, down the line. You have any quick thoughts before we wrap things up? Just looking <laughs> forward to some nice matches in the course of the week. All right, thank you very much for coming on the program. And of course, help me wish him a happy birthday. <laughs> it was his birthday yesterday, but we didn't have you here. So yes. happy birthday Thanks and more lot. graceful years it. ahead. Thanks a lot. All right, and that's a wrap for this morning on Off the Press. We're back again with all the latest headlines tomorrow. We'll see you then. My name is Felicity Ezewike.